Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. What uh, what's the the Latino and um and Mexican gang presence like out there? Well, it's very, it's very low. Like, the, the community out here of black versus, you know, Latino, it's it's more black populated and nasty. I know some people think, like, oh, you know, it's country out there or, you know, it's, it's not really diversity, but it's actually a lot, a lot more black out here, mm-hmm. especially the section that we're from of, uh, of Nashville. So it, it, that takes a big toll on everything, too, as well. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. At my time, uh, the sections like that, like, see, in the penitentiary, even, even in the penitentiary, like, I, I know what he had, and, uh, they stand the ground, too, but, uh, you know, like the MS-13s and the BC, uh, Brown Pride, you know, they probably ain't got that in California. It started in Nashville, the Mexicans got, uh, Brown Pride down here, you know, and, uh, Brown Pride, the MS-13, the Mexican Mafia, they go against each other in the penitentiary. So, you know, um, Man, they, you know, you know, they go hard too, you know. Yeah. I, I never, uh, man, they go hard, you know. In, in the penitentiary down here, is like they cutting heads off. Mm. Yeah, they're probably so small in numbers that they have to show that they're about that life times 10. Yeah, yeah, like times 20. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know what? A little bit more about yeah. prison. I would love to, to talk a little bit more about that real quick. Um, who, who? I don't like to use this word, but this is the best way I can say it. But who runs the the prisons out there in Tennessee? Crips. Crips. Okay. Uh, I can say Crips and uh, probably the GDs, probably the Crips and probably the Crips and GDs. Okay. Crips and GDs. They uh, they uh, you know they they took over. They took over uh, a lot of a lot of blood. You know, they ain't bloods no more. You know, <laughs> they ain't bloods no more uh, in the situation. They, they, you know, they slaughtered. They get, they get slaughtered in compounds that uh, they, get, they ain't gonna, win. they can't win. Yeah, that's the lowest number. And um, <clears throat> what were you gonna say? You know, I'm saying that's the lowest number in the penitentiary is the bloods. And it's just, man, they ain't winning. They ain't winning the fight. Yeah. Now, um, I would like to chat with you guys about, do you guys keep up um, with any, you know, hip-hop stories, things like that that's going on out there in the hip-hop world? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Okay, cool. I, let me yeah. talk to let me talk to the, to my man BG real quick here. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with King Von. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Um, for, you know, for my audience out there who aren't familiar with King Von, very popular Chicago drill rapper. He was next up. He had everything: the look, the flow. Um, long story short, he gets into it with a, a rival uh, outside of a Atlanta hookah bar, Quando Rondo. Um, and within, you know, just a few seconds of them fighting, um, dude named Lil Timmy comes out and just lets off and, and mm-hmm. you know, lets off into King Von. I'm sure you know the story, my man BG. I'm just breaking it down for everybody out there. Um, what? So my question for you, um, I would love your, you, you know, your thought on this. And we obviously don't condone homicides or murder on my show. But, um, you know, in a situation like that, do you think Lil Timmy did what Lil Timmy was supposed to do? Well, coming up, you know, as a youngster, like what I would say, uh, he wanted the reputation. He wanted, you know, he wanted that that position where if I take somebody out, you know, I have the right, you know, to take him out because I wanted the status or, you know, or the rank or whatever you may call it. He wanted that position where he said he done something so vital for his organization or his gang, wherever he was at that time. He wanted him to be that man. He wanted to be the top dog, in other words. Well, do I condone that? No, because personally, for me, I'm a fighter. Okay, so when I came up as being the youngest, 
fighting and stuff and the prize and stuff, that's that's what I was brought brought on. The guns and stuff came later in my generation with me, it did. Mm-hmm. But no, did I do I agree with that what he done? No, not at all. Yeah, sad that it just seems like rappers are easy food right now. I mean, they're getting it from from everywhere. You know, they're getting shot, they're getting their chains stolen. Um, wh- how do you how do you think a rapper with gang ties should move when they're going from city to city, state to state? Well, that should be precautious. First thing, you know, that's the first most. Uh, be mindful and be. Be uh, aware of their surroundings because at any given time, anything can happen. Anything can break out. Anything can happen unexpectedly. Especially if you're the top icon of the time, being a young, being around my age and stuff, it's very important, you know, to be mindful because anything, like I said, anything can happen. Uh, anything can jump off. You know. Um, with that being said, if I was that person, I always like me. Just personally, I'm always aware of my surroundings, and I never lack. I never go lacking anywhere. So that that's my biggest thing. Do you think there's, for, I guess for lack of better words, do you think that they should check in? Yeah, in a way, they should check in. You know, they should, you know, make sure, you know, if you have, say, bodyguards and stuff, bodyguards should know every, your every move, basically. Even if you're going to take a pit, <laughs> tell them where you're going. Because anything, like I said, anything can happen. You can get jacked, stabbed, robbed, shot, you know, beat up, anything. From a person, you know, that may be my favorite, favorite that person, whoever you are, you know, at that time. So that's what I, that's what I really believe in. I told her I loved her. She said she wanna see the city bus She don't wanna ride the city bus Because she's new to the town I advise look for truth The ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud Dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to yeah most of my life i've been following stars knowing i ain't really had to go that far come to find out it's the truth i already know